What's up guys, Max Cape Jer. Uh, today, I'm going to be making a guide on a couple of the weekly and the monthly things you guys should be doing for XP for Max Cape and Com Cape. It's just little activities that give good XP that really everyone should do. And the first one that I like to do every week is this one right here. It's called Tears of Guthics. The only requirement for this is to do the quest Tears of Guthics. And then once a week, it doesn't reset, it's just once you do it seven days later, you can do it again. You would want to come here and tell a story. And you would go inside this game right here and you get a bowl. And pretty much all you would do is you would collect. See, collect from the weeping wall. You would want to collect the blue water. The green water, what that does is it takes away your tears. So you want to try and stay on this, uh, the blue one. This game is very aggravating. I know a lot of people who've broken things and yelled and scream and everything because it gets very aggravating and then if you have 80 mining or 80 crafting you can make a large bowl which is just down here you go I'll just show you you walk down here and there's like a mining spot yeah you would just jump across you would mine it and then you would craft that ball and like that or into a giant bowl and then you would get a lot more XP now I get about 40 or like around 40, 45k in my lowest stat, which right now it's thieving. As you see, I just did it yesterday and got about 74k left for level. But I mean, that's probably one of the best things. And then to remind myself that I do it every Thursday and I see Tears of Guthix Thursday. That's what I keep in my notes. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is penguins. Now I'll go ahead, I'm going to teleport to the area where you need to start for penguins for you guys who haven't started yet. But penguins, what that is, is there's random penguins. You might have seen them around RuneScape, and they have a spy on option. They usually are like a bush or a crate or something stupid. You never know. And when you spy on them, you get XP. There's about, there's 10 penguins that run around every week. And then there's a polar bear, but you need to do a quest for that one. I haven't even done that quest yet, but for the penguins. Now, for you guys who want to find all the penguins and everything easily, you're going to want to go in a clan chat called world 60 pangs I'll go ahead and go on that one right now I was just in it as you can see a little while ago and that's world 60 pangs I don't know where I'm running I see all these people in this clan chat they're all on world 60 looking for the penguins now you can ask location on what penguin blah 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 and they'll tell you where the penguins are <clears throat> and then see Zanaris will the there's 10 of them they're in all different places, and they reset areas every Tuesday. So every Tuesday, they're going to reset. So you want to find all the penguins before Tuesday. And usually, depending on what skill level it is, it's about 10 to 15k. Probably, if it's high enough skill, 20k XP in that level. Now, in order to start that, you come here, talk about hide and seek, talk to them that you want to find the penguins. He'll give you permission to look for the penguins. Then you can right-click hide and seek. And then he'll tell you how many penguin points you have, blah, blah, blah. You get your XP. Okay, now that's it for the weekly ones. That's just stuff you want to do every week. Penguins, free XP, Tears of Guthics, free XP. And then now for the monthly ones, there's another two of those. And one of those is called Troll Invasion. I'll go ahead and show you guys where that is. Now, Troll Invasion resets at the beginning of every month. It just reset last night for me at 7 o'clock Eastern, and I did it. Now that gives you, depending on your stat, around 60 to 70k free XP, and it takes about 10 minutes to do. Now you would want to teleport to birth rope. Now this is a combat thing. So you're going to make sure you gear up in good combat gear. You want to get food, potions, because you don't want to die. If you die, you get a lot less XP. Now you would want to run west to this little gold symbol. That's the distraction and diversion symbol for all different things. Let me go ahead and get out of this chat. And um, now you would want to come to this guy. You'd want to start, right click, start fighting. Now see I've already helped out this month, but you would just go and spam click it through. And then you can either do 20 waves or 7 waves. 20 waves is easier, but longer. 7 waves is harder, but a little bit faster. Either one of those will work. And that's another thing you want to do every month, beginning of every month. You want to go ahead and get it done as soon as you get on and beginning of every month. Get it done so you don't forget a lot of people forget about it. Now the next and final thing you want to do every month is the new update called the God Statues. Now you're going to get Construction XP and Slayer XP. And it's optional if you want Prayer XP. I'd take the Construction and Slayer because I'm already 99 Prayer. But that's just, that's the thing. And you're also going to want to get some combat gear out too for this because you're going to be fighting things. But they're extremely easy. 
For this, you don't need anything but maybe a couple pieces of food and some melee gear or range gear, maze gear, whatever you want to do. Now, there's four of these all around RuneScape. I'll go ahead and show you them, how to get to each one. This is the first one in Drainer. You run east a little bit. Now, I can't show you how to do it because I've already done mine, but you really don't need a guide. It's extremely easy. You have to be retarded not to know how to do it. You run east, follow the road, and then we are here. See another one of those golden things next to this, the altar. Because this is now random for altar. Now see, I made mine into Juana or whatever because I wanted the Slayer XP. You pretty much, all you do is build scaffolds up. He'll tell you how to build them. It takes about 2-3 minutes. Then you get construction XP, you pray at it. Then a warrior or something comes out, you kill it and you get Slayer XP. I got about 137k free construction XP and a about 60k free Slayer XP. But I mean, yeah, my construction's on 99, I just got that last night. And my Slayer is a little high. So it is by your combat level, it's by your level based. Now there's three other one of these things. Uh, one, I'll just go ahead and run the each to all of them. The next one's going to be, you want to teleport to Yanel. And yeah, skull boots. Make sure you guys are using those skull boots and those Haiti gloves up before they run out. I'm not sure when exactly they're around. It's probably a couple months, but I mean, come on, it's free XP. And okay, now from once you're at Yanel, you're going to want to run south. You're going to run south, and then you're going to teleport. Then you're going to run east, and there we go. I've already made this one too. Same thing. Got the Slayer XP. That's where the second one is. Third one is I believe in Canifis and so I'm gonna go ahead and teleport to Edgeville all right I'll go ahead and tell you guys once I get to the next one so you don't have to watch me bank and all that kind of stuff I just ecto tellied for the third god statue because this is a god statue by Canifis so you can either fairing or ecto tell I forgot about the fairing and I just ecto tell so whatever oh and here's one of those penguins I was talking about and you spy on it. See, it's like a bush that wanders around. It's kind of camouflages, but I don't know, Jagex is just trolling, thinking we're blind and retarded. But all right, so let's just keep on running. It's going to be a little far run. It's going to also show you guys one of the farming patches. See, there's a farming patch, herb patch. That's one of the key things in RuneScape you want to start using. All these other patches, yeah, I don't use them right now because I'm already 99, but all different things. So oh, now we're going to go north, okay. It's going to run west, run west, run west. Also, if you look on your world map, you'll see one of the distraction diversion symbols, the little gold star right around this area in Canopus. And that's where you're going to want to go. See? Bam! There it is. And here you go. This is the third one. And now the final one is going to be in Taverly. So let's go ahead and teleport to Taverly. And see? Oh, there's a guy doing it right now. It's very good it's free construction xp every month i mean it may not be it may be a little annoying for some people but it's free construction free slayer i'm not sure how much the prayer xp is if it's good or not but i mean i'm assuming it's pretty good it's 60k free slayer that's like two tasks or something like that two crap tasks or three crap tasks depending on your level but i mean it's nice to get out of the way and construction is very gay i mean yeah i just finished off 99 but it was a terrible skill terrible skill i mean it's no AFK, it's just intense clicking. My eyes feel like they're going to pop out of my head because of it. But alright, so now we're just going to run straight up north. There is yep, the summoning guide. I could collect my one gold charm a day, but that's pretty gay. I'm not doing that. I'm going to run far north. I'm lagging. Alright. Going way up here. And then you'll see the gold star. Right. Actually, we probably could have teleported the birth rope. Yeah, we probably could have. That's I'm retarded, whatever shit game, and here's the other one. Yes, yeah, statues, Zinio, Ziana, whatever, some gay names. But then, yep, yeah, it's a free altar too. Once you make all four of these, you have a free altar in random areas for uh, a whole month. But all right, guys, I mean, that's it for the monthly ones. I mean, obviously, if you're asking about daily things you should do every day, is obviously those daily challenges. Once you get, if you're going for max cape or comp cape, once you get a uh, you like a 99 in one of the stats, then just you can go toggle it off at the guy. Actually, I can probably run up here and show you guys about that. If you have a, like a stat that's 99 and you just absolutely hate doing the challenges and everything for it, then I would just recommend just not getting challenges for that stat anymore. You can just go to the quartermaster, which is... I don't know. I don't usually go up this way. Where the fuck am I? 
All right, right over here. Yeah, there it is. I'm like, I don't even know where I'm running. I'm never in birth rope. Birth rope is the most pointless town. And all right, so you just go up to this quartermaster. You would just talk to him. Toggle max challenges. I will do that right now because I do not want a construction challenge because construction sucks. And I will click that, toggle it off. Now see, these are my 99s that I will no longer, well, except for done, check at 120, will no longer get different random things in. So I will confirm. And that's it. Now I'll only get challenges and stats that I am not 99. But all right, guys, that about wraps it up for today. I uh, hope this guide helped you guys out for you guys who were not doing any of those activities and wasting on the XP. And hopefully now you'll get massive loads of XP every week and every month. All right, if you guys want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be coming out with another skill guide video. Most likely it will be one of the Bibles. I know a lot of people want to see. So I'll show you guys how I did herb lore and probably crafting next. I'll just combine those two in one on the different strategies, how I did that. How I saved a lot of money. Spent a lot of hours, but I saved a lot of money. Remember, guys, it's not about XP per hour. It's about how many hours you play. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace.